hello beautiful people so in this video we are going to use play pause and reset okay so we are going to find out how we can uh, use play pause and reset into uh, using flutter and drive okay so let's choose our animation okay so i have liked uh, this animation okay which currently plays so let's uh, remix this animation okay and uh, okay so let's first change the animation name okay so if you can see it fully okay so let's change the animation name to like something like table table animation okay so we have changed the file name okay uh, let's this is currently the animation name is loop so let's change it to something like animate and currently it's playing into ping pong okay so in ping pong it goes uh, then comes back again okay and uh, in loop what it does it it like it's going forward and it will start from the beginning so it will loop again and again okay something like this but as we are going into the example of play pause and reset what we are going to do is we will make it uh, let's make it one shot okay so it will only play single time okay so it has played fully let's download the riv file okay so table animation okay and what we are going to do is okay so let's okay so inside this okay so i have created a dot riv folder okay let's add this table animation okay and uh, you can see the animate animation here okay you can also download this extension like uh, you can find this extension with uh, like you can search for rive okay so i think uh, yes vs code rive viewer okay using this you can view the rive and uh, the animations and the inputs inside the state machine okay so you can view all these okay so i have already uh, like uh, created a rive folder and uh, i have uh, uh, generated this okay this new project okay which contains like which contains like uh, this by default code okay so let's make a example so what we are going to do is let's first okay so we are going to add a rive animation controller so and uh, then we are using init state we are going to initialize it okay so uh, let's add the controller equals to simple animation okay and uh, inside this what uh, let's add the animation name so that uh, will be going to be animate okay so let's like uh, remove all this code okay so we don't need all of this code so we can remove this from here okay so let's return a i think a scaffold inside the scaffold we can add a body and uh, inside the body okay we are going to take a column okay so inside the chill runs what we are going to do is like we can create a two expanded widgets okay and uh, inside child we can uh, in the first one we will take rive animation dot asset okay so here like okay so we can uh, like uh, okay to load this file like table uh, 
animation table animation file okay you need to define the path here so i have already defined the path here like you need to go here and give the path of the folder or uh, the file okay so let's give the okay so let's only give so in if we go give the path of the folder then it will take all the files inside the uh, path okay so okay so let's give uh, assets slash rive slash table and so our animation dot riv file this is our file and uh, what we are going to do uh, let's also give it a fit so we can give it a box fit dot cover and uh, let's give it a okay so yes we need to assign the controller to it okay so let's also add the controller okay so for like it's giving us the error because it has not initialized okay so as you can see it is currently playing uh okay so but what we need to do is we uh okay we also need to add buttons that will be used to uh okay okay so flex we can give it to two or and then we are going to copy this again okay we can give flex it to one okay we will remove the child okay and uh, let's add a row okay uh, okay so i think i should remove these auto suggestions definitely when i am making the videos but let's continue so let's add uh, like uh, two icon buttons okay we can add two icon buttons and uh, inside the icon let's give the icon okay so we can give the icons dot uh, dot play and uh, icons dot play arrow okay and uh, let's give it a size okay size we can give something like 32 okay let's make it some like 32 is uh, somewhat bigger so okay now let's copy this okay first one would be play pause the second one is re uh, reload uh, okay reset okay so restore okay so okay now we need to uh, make the functions that are uh, when these buttons are clicked uh, it should uh, okay so let's do one more thing uh, let's make them appear main axis alignment dot space evenly okay so now okay so we are going to create some functions here like uh, is playing okay void uh, not void uh, is playing okay so what we are going to do is like controller dot is active so if it's is active means it's playing if it's not then it's not playing and uh, the other, other thing we are going to do is uh, okay let, let's make a void function uh, okay so what should we name it okay so toggle toggle play okay so we are going to give it let's add a set state okay and uh, inside the set state we are going to controller dot is active uh, not equals to controller dot is active okay so it will uh, like if it's true it will uh, be changed to false then true false true false okay uh, okay so let's uh, okay so let's add this is playing okay so what we are going to do is like is playing 
uh, okay so if it is playing then we are going to show icons dot uh, pause okay else uh, icons dot uh, player okay so here we can give toggle play okay so now like uh, let's reload this okay so okay so it's currently not working okay so why it's not working okay let's check that out so let's reload this again okay and uh, like nothing is happening if something was happening then this should be uh, the, this should change okay so like toggle play controller dot is active okay so not here okay so we will give it here okay so let's reload this and uh, now it's working okay so now it's changing play pause play pause okay so but one thing uh, you can see is like uh, it has played now like nothing happens here because okay like it has uh, it's one shot animation and it will not play again okay to do that uh, what we need to do is we need to call the reset okay so wide uh, reset reset okay so let's so controller okay controller as simple animation okay because this what we have given okay then we are going to call the reset function okay let's call this inside set state now like okay so nothing happens because we haven't uh, like uh, given this okay initialized uh, um, this animation let's reload this and uh, okay so now it's resetting okay but one thing you need to uh, you will find out is like it's happening and we can plow pause okay but when uh, there are two things that will happen first of all if the animation is in pause then it will not reload okay okay after we have restarted it it will reset okay and uh, the second thing is if the animation has played fully okay so then it will uh, not uh, restart okay the reason i got uh, okay by reading the code is like uh, it's only resets when uh, the uh, when the animation is in active state okay so before resetting what we will do is like we will make it into play okay so a controller dot is active we will set it to true okay okay so like if i have paused this animation i reset so now it's playing okay but it will mm, like it will reset but it will not start playing okay so to also make sure that it also start playing again okay after the animation has finished what we are going to do is like we are going to do controller dot apply okay then controller controller dot um, controller as simple animation okay dot instance not instance just a sec as simple animation so we need to give two values here okay 
how many seconds uh, we should move it forward okay and uh, dot instance okay dot animation okay dot context okay and uh, it will set the context to false so we we will also need to set it to true again okay now like we will play the animation okay so the animation is playing uh, okay fine we can reset it okay so in this video we have seen like uh, how we can uh, reset play play pause okay play pause the animation okay reset it again okay so in the next video what we are going to do is we are going to synchronize the audio with with the rife file okay what will help uh, what that will help is like if you want to make a animation or something like a video functionality using using rife okay then uh, synchronizing the audio okay with the animation will help you uh, like uh, making something like a vector animation okay that can play uh, with the audio so if you want to like uh, make a game or uh, not game like uh, videos for uh, a tv okay like a tv app okay then the uh, animation will play audio will play it uh, with it and uh, so without uh, like uh, for that much larger screen uh, it's vector so you can use uh, the smaller size of rive and you can combine that with uh, audio okay so let's meet in our next video until then have a good day